Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Skincare Nerds. Today we're talking all about salicylic acid. Very okay. popular request. I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> salicylic acid is the shit. Let's try and keep this one as simple as we can because salicylic acid really isn't that complicated. We covered it off in our exfoliation video, which you can watch here. So go and watch that. Um, otherwise, if you want to recap, keep watching. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, AKA a BHA which differs from alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic and lactic acids. AHAs, which are water soluble, have the ability to loosen old dead skin cells to reveal brighter, fresher skin underneath. But your BHAs are oil soluble, which gives them the ability to penetrate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in as a blooper, penetrate. <laughs> which allows them to penetrate the pores, targeting the buildup of gunk like oil and debris, which can cause texture, dullness, and congestion. Using salicylic acid is like having a little man go in with a little tiny shovel, and he's just shoveling all the stuff out of the pores so that it unclogs them. I think that's the best way. Can we do some kind of like animation? Pop it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Salicylic acid is a desmolytic ingredient, meaning it breaks apart the bonds between the cells in the outer layer of the skin, resulting in exfoliation and ultimately the unclogging of pores. Salicylic acid is also indicated in the treatment of concerns like pigmentation and uneven skin tone. Salicylic acid also has anti-inflammatory properties, making it ideal for treating concerns like blackheads and whiteheads because it'll also help to reduce the redness and inflammation often associated with breakouts. I love to recommend niacinamide as a complementary ingredient to salicylic acid. I find myself constantly recommending the ASAP Super B Complex with the ASAP Radiance Serum. Amazing for even texture and reducing congestion. Some of my favorite products that contain salicylic acid are ASAP's Radiance Serum, which I just mentioned. It contains peptides, AHAs and BHAs. And as I said, I recommend mixing it with the ASAP Super B Complex just honestly a dream duo. The next one on my list is the Cosmetics Clarify Salicylic Acid Foaming Cleanser, which is great for oily or combo skin types that are prone to congestion. They need to shorten their names. Like if I was naming products, they would be like acne serum. Then we've got the Societe Clear Skin Boosting Pads, which are single use disposable pads that are soaked in AHAs and BHAs. Then for an affordable option, we've got the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. I recommend using this sparingly just in the affected areas one to two times a week. A cleanser I have in my own rotation is the Murad Age Reform AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser, which has obviously AHAs and BHAs. It's a part chemical and part physical uh, chemical exfoliator, but it's very gentle on the skin. So suitable for someone like me who has rosacea. The next one on my list of recommendations is the Cosmetics Clarity Serum. This one combines niacinamide, salicylic acid, and tea tree to help fight bacteria, mattify the skin, and reduce post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And then another one I have with me is the SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense. That's for acne-prone skin with aging concerns as well. This one contains 2% dioic acid with a blend of AHAs and BHAs. It helps to reduce sebum production, fight acne-causing bacteria, and reduce post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Or about that, oh, this is completely Empty? Yeah, pretty much. So there you have it. That's all of my salicylic acid product recommendations. If you have any questions around skincare layering, head over to our video here, which I did recently wearing exactly the same top. So go and check that out if you're not sure how to incorporate salicylic acid into your routine. And I'll see you next time. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, which differs from... I know this. <laughs> <You do. laughs> I don't even know what, like, I don't need notes for this. It's a very long sentence. I know it is. I don't know why. Why do I do this to myself? Shorten it, Joanna. <laughs>